Hello guys, um, welcome to a short video. <clears throat> I'm going to show you today how to make a MLO. Um, I want to start making more tutorials again. Sorry I haven't been around guys for the past like week or two. Uh, I've had some family issues. I did post something out on the community page. Uh, and in my Discord I put information out of why I haven't been around. But uh, yeah, let's find something we can open up. I only want to make something small, so... Ah, we'll open up one of these. So, right. Uh, let's knock on select and move. Oh, that's the window frames. Right. Uh, let's get that. Uh, select. Now let's do world search. We're just seeing if it's used anywhere else in the world, apart from this row. Alright, so that's nymph four, this one's five. So right, they are separate, so now we need to go into open IP. Make sure you have open IP set as administrator. So you can go into edit mode and stuff. Oh uh no, I don't need to go into modes yet. Let's search. There we go, there's the building. Oh, round. There. Nice simple building to do. So this right click. And let me make a folder. Tutorial. Right, now what I like to do with to keep it all organized is do one folder raw. For your raw files. Just in case you edit something and you don't like how it turned out. You could just start again. And then export. And textures. And then last one then is for if you have any props. But we won't be doing props today in this video. So let's just delete that folder. Right, so now we got this. Uh, select. And now we need to find the collisions. So let's move out over there. And that. And go up to here where it says mode. Go to collision. And then you just find then any poly or any box or anything like that. You find it by here. Find the name. And then in the top here then you search. Let's just double check this is it. Yep. That's the collisions for all of them. Oh fuck. I didn't want to do that. Right. Right click. Export open format. And put it in your raw folder. Now we need to find the high. So it's usually high at. I messed up for that. Right, it's usually one of the highs. So there only seems to be one high by you, so we're lucky. Yeah, the high is for usually for bullets. See? 
so we want to export that as well right now we can just close code walker and go into um, 3ds max don't worry guys i am going to make a blender version as well how to make an mlo in blender i'm just learning out one or two things about blender first before i do that but a video will be coming but right so now we go import hide that because that's one of my up and coming projects tutorial raw and we want to just move all these in here There, don't worry about all this. It's just it couldn't find the um it just couldn't find the uh textures. So now we can minimize gim. Uh yeah, there's gims in there. Yeah. Uh right. We can hide all the collisions for now. And this one, hide. Because the collisions end up like far out here. Because they're world collisions. So right, what we want to do is highlight this. And... It's not going to be very big, so... Let's go into Edit Mesh. And we go into the bar and select that delete same over here box select oh no say now we we want to hollow out that bit i know other people will say that you can delete the windows i don't like doing that personally i like to keep the windows but right as you can see now we have the doorway open but you you can't walk in yet right so there's a back and a front window so, right, uh, what we want to do now is click E and then knock on uh, angle snap and you want to make sure that the angle is set to five degrees. Rockstar usually works in a five degree angle. You go to top view, there, see, this is 30 degrees. So now we can make the box for the interior. So you can just make just a doesn't have to be like perfectly sized to it yet because we're gonna convert this to editable poly. And we're just gonna move it closer. Then you wanna find them where you want it to snap to. So for this video's sake, uh make sure you turn on snap in this video's sake, we're going to have a snap to the door because we're not hollowing out both sides. So let's just have a snap, maybe a little bit more back. There. And then this side, and we want to snap to the inside of the door frame. So make sure you're on the inside of the door frame, this side. Uh, we want to snap it to here. Okay, maybe a little bit more over. There. We ain't going to bring it all the way up to the window up there, so that window up there can just stay there for now. I want to snap it to the inside of the window here. Snap the bottom. We'll do it just straight up to the level of that. So there. And then for the top bit then, I reckon we could just snap it to the bottom of the window by here. There. It's a nice size room now, so if you hide this, it's a good part of the room. Uh, 
Let's just see if we can snap this in a little bit more. Oh. Oh, uh, we can delete them. So let's hide the box. Let's just keep on removing until we get it. Because we don't want to change the outside at all. We want it to look nice. There. Delete. Delete. Just keep on deleting until it's away from the wall. Um, actually, we might just delete all of this. Yeah, let's just delete all of it. Right, there. Now if we show the box again. None of it should be clipping through now, which it isn't. So that's good. It's going to be dark for the moment. Oh, um, toilet break. Three, two, one. Right, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, sorry about the cut in the video. I had to um, go to the toilet. Uh, right. Yep, that all seems correct. It's still lined up here. Yep. Right. Now what we want to do is... We want to cut out... Uh, we want to turn these into glass. So for this, um, I can leave something in the description if you guys want, um, or you can just go in on my Discord anyway. Links will be in the description for m most of the stuff I'm using. But um, you can also uh, go into my Discord, and I'll happily just give you textures if you need them. So for this one, we need glass. Which is here. So now with all with them highlighted, we might as well highlight the back as well. Now with them highlighted now we can just go and drag this on there. Now what we wanna do is turn that into a glass texture, so. Convert to GTA, glass, uh, not break all. Make sure you embed all your textures. It's just safe practice.
Right, you want normal map. Defuse, which is always going to be glass. And then environment texture then is an EMV texture. So it will look like that. And then I usually do the same settings every time. I leave bumpiness, I leave all the rest, and I put the um, reflection to 5. 5.0. Gives a nice little reflection on it without it being too much. And there we have it. The glass is now see-through. So if we hide our box, see? It's all see-through. There you go. That's how you make glass. But now we have to do the inside. So now what you want to do is make sure you're clicking on the box. Click F4. And then you go into edges. Highlight all four edges. And connect so for this case we just want two for the door for now so you want to click on one of the lines then loop so it grabs all of that one and then we want to just line it up with the corner there and then loop again There. Now we want to click only the side that the door is. And then we want to do connect again. One. Because this is going to be for the top of the door. We want to just line that up with that. And then you just click a delete. Now, doorways cut out. What I like to always do as well is just to be sure. Oh, uh, if you click border, just click on that then. And then I want to just bring it out slightly. So you click shift. Click on the Y axis or whatever axis is going away from the door. And then you just move it out slightly. It just makes it just makes sure that it fits then. Right, so we'll bring it to with the door. Oh, I am got snapping on. There. We'll just bring it to the edge of the door. There. Just looks a lot cleaner when you've got it in game. Oh, um, let me rip that, drag that there, just so it doesn't clip through, because I can't be asked to just delete all of these. It, it'll take too much away from the aesthetic. I mean, as you can see, this is still going to be a big enough room. But right, now we've got to cut out the windows. Which, what I usually like doing is just... Um, Click on any one of these, go backwards. And then, hmm, how do we want to do this? Right, so I've got like that. We need to bring it out to about here. Down to about here. Now we need to drag this now out so it lines up with this.
we want to just drag into there. And then the same end with this. So inside, inside. There, just so it looks like the window's flat. And then bring that down. So what number are these? 16. Sixteen. So that now has the glass texture as well. I need to redo this section. Yeah, this is just a quick and dirty way out to do it, guys. Right, now we need to plus sign, base orientation. Right. So all of them faces are good. Because if the Wherever the green is, that's what you want to see. That's always a good way to notice it. If a green is on inside, you won't be able to see any walls. If the green is on the outside, you won't be able to see any walls. So now that we know that that's good. Now we can go ahead and just leave this. No, we can do it by as well, actually. Right, welcome back, guys. Um, now I've I've done the window frame. I didn't want to bore you guys with this, so that's why I skipped it. But now we can cut out the windows. So what I usually like to do is because we've made the window frame. So now that window frame's there. And uh, now we should be able. to... Now we connect these with another two. And then we just click the middle, delete. Now we want to go back to border, click all the way around. And just bring it to there. There, we got a little window sill with it as well. So that's always nice. Oh, let me close up the back of that fucking thing as well. So we want mesh. There. 
Now click back in the box there. So we got one window done. And yep, that all looks fine. Maybe bring this down to splash. There. So that all looks fine now. You see, you can see inside. It all looks pretty. And now we cut out this one. So this one, we're lucky we've already got one by we've already got the two by that we need. So we can just move these. And we only want to move them to where the edge of the thing is. So edge. Edge, because the lines don't have to be clean. You can do them clean if you want, but it's personal preference. So right now we connect these with two. Delete that, and there you go. There's another one. Another trick like last time, we do borders. And then we just move it in. See, so it looks like then it's seamless. And see, look how good that looks. And there we go. You've made the shell. I know it doesn't look like much now. But it's it's gonna work so right now we want to what do we want to do next oh we want to make a copy of this so clone and we want to name it ox1 because this is going to be the collision and now we just want floor uh, we want three materials. So you go into the material editor. You go into... Uh, you click that standard legacy that always shows up. Then you go into Gims 5 material. And then you want to just pick... Oh, no. No, actually, scratch that, guys. We need multi-material first. So multi-sub-object. Disregard old. And we want... Th Three. So we want walls, floor. Let's say now we just want two actually, because walls and roof can be exactly the same. Walls, roof, floor. So now we click in here. Now we go to games five material. Room one. You always want to put room one, and then if you do multiple rooms, then each collision material's got to be assigned to that room. So you say, like, room two, room three, room four, room five. Um, so this is the walls and roof. So I usually do straight up concrete. It's just the easiest material to work with. And then floor, then we'll do a nice wood floor. So we do wood. Wood floor dusty, room one. And then you just exit that, uh, drag this over into the second one. First one then could be your collision material. So this hide this, select that. There. Now what you want to do is put this to the side. Go into here. Highlight everything bar the floor. So make sure everything is selected and then put by up as set ID to one. And then the floor then. So let's just deselect everything else. Oh, uh, deselect everything else. Oh, fuck. Because I haven't got it on that. You always got to make sure you have it on um poly you can't have it on the element so otherwise it'll just deselect everything 
There. The floor selected now we're not gonna be ID two. ID two. And there you go. Do the same now to the first one, but we're gonna add the second material we made. Because this is gonna be where our textures are gonna be. So we wanna assign that to that, rename it. Shell. Let's do it as default shell. And then we want to do exactly the same. So select all of it. I, oh fuck. Oh, select. Sorry guys, I made a bit of a flurry today. All right, select all of it and then, so walls now, walls and roof are ID one. Now we want the floor. ID two. There. Right, so we don't need to mess with the collision meter the OX one now. Because that's fine. Now we want to rename this. I'll just rename it to Tutorial underscore shell. You want to keep it that name. And now this texture. If you guys want to make, I do recommend you guys make your own textures. I always do it. It's just easier than trying to steal a texture from another GTA entity. And then it might fuck up that. It might make it like go real funny. Like when you see that we do put in an MLO when it just goes spastic on other maps. Like the colors change and stuff like that. So I'll show you now you make your own. God, I've already been doing this now for 40 minutes. Don't worry, guys. It won't be more than about half an hour video or 40 minutes. Right, so let's go to 512 by 512. I, all my textures are always 512 by 512. And this just finds a nice wood flooring off Google. Wood flooring texture. Always do seamless. And there we are. So let's do this. Copy image. Paste. Resize. Right now we uh always do a smaller file extract and then we wanna put it in oh uh let me just find where the file is. Uh tutorial copy paste Textures. This is why we made the texture folder. So wood underscore floor underscore coat. You can name it whatever you like, but just make sure it's always a new name every time. There. And then for the floors, then we'll just do no, for the ceiling and things, and we just do white. So right, while you're in your you go to mods, update the blah blah blah, go into your mods folder all the way through. I'm guessing you guys got it laid out the same. Edit mode. New folder. Tutorial. And then we want to add a YTD. Section underscore tutorial. Because this is how we're going to convert the file. So textures, wood floor, in view. Okay, and then all you do then is just click on it, drag it back out. And there you have it. You have a DDS. And then you have a PNG. We don't need that PNG now. So let's save that. And then all we want to do then 
Gems. And then we want to go to material editor. Wood. Embedded. And we just want to, where does this file name by R? Just go to that. There. And then for the walls, then we want white. So I'll just get like a random white tile now that I got. There. I know it says gray, but it is white. So, right. Oh, one other thing you want to do, guys, as well, is both of these. You want to turn on face orientation again. See, the, it, now it's in the inside. Green in the inside is bad. So now what we want to do is select A, flip. Same with this. Select A, flip. There, so it now it's in the inside. So now we can hide that. And then let's turn off face orientation. Let's see, look how good that floor looks. But now that we want that down. So let's go over here, ID2, we want to select that. And then we want to go on to UV map. No, UVW map, I mean, sorry. And then we want to just make it smaller, just thinner slats. Yep, that looks about good. There. So now uh, we can do the, oh, we can make it into a collision now and stuff like that. So now to make something, in, to um, do these now, we need to hide the OX one. Just what this is showing. Let me just turn off transparency. If you go on to vertices, uh, while clicking on the shell, sorry. S select A. Yeah, so it's um, Control A. And then you want a 0, zero 1. Because as you can see before, it was 42 vertexes. Uh, vertices. And now it's uh, 34 after it. And then you want to go into uh, vertex. Is that vertex? No, poly. I'm going to go to the poly, clear all, auto smooth. And it just smooths it out. For a, even though it's a really low poly built in, but it'll do. Now you want to go into. Oh, one other thing you want to do is go into edge mode. Control A. Um, Oh no, vertex mode, I mean. Control A. You want to set the vertex color. Green, if you want to set it to green, so it's blue, blue. If you want to set it to green, green means it'll light up in the dark, which I usually do at about 150. Red is you have to focus on light in to light the building. So, right, now we've set that. Now we can just stop that now. Move to zero, 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 so it's center point. Move this the same. Zero, zero. Right. Now we want to go to Games Evo. Uh, make sure you're clicking on the shell, create object, model, give it the game mesh. And then you want to just click on model. Click anywhere in the screen. And then you want to move out to center point, so zero, zero. 
Oh, by the way, guys, if you want to know how I'm just moving it straight to zero, uh, you right click on the up and down arrows. And it just sets it to zero. Now for the game mesh, uh, for the um, OX1. Oh, we didn't want to do that. Right, OX1. You want to go into collision this time. Give it the collision mesh. And then give it a collapse. Which that already went to the center point, so that's good. All right. Now we want to rename this. Uh, we want to rename this one because this one is the model. To same as our shell. And then this one then, we want to just rename to call instead of shell. Drag that down to there. And there is our model and our shell. Um, to give it the to make it work in game, you've got to do map animal, map cover, map dynamic, map vehicle, map weapon. Means it'll interact with all of these things. Map dynamic is the player. Map cover means you can take cover on it. If you don't want people to take cover on the um walls, then you can just untick that. Map animal means animals can interact with it. Map vehicle obviously vehicles and map weapons is map weapon. Um, I mean, vehicles and weapons can do uh, do stuff with it. If you don't knock out on, so you can just drive through it. So it'll be a bit funky. So, right. As you can see, it's spazzing out, but that's because we've got the collision on the thing in. So let's just hide all these. Uh, we want to rotate this back on a 45 degree angle. So let's click on that. E. A uh, 30 degree angle, I mean. So there, it's back in its original place. Because if you're done, then it'll end up fucked up in game. So we're done with all them. Now we're going on to world collisions. So the world collisions, you show them. And as I told you, it ends up all the way out here. So we want to find our one, which I'm sure our one is the first one. Right, so what we might have to do is knock the non-high on at the moment. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, shit, it's this one. Our one is. Right, so that one, now we just delete that. And there we go. The building is now enterable. Well, almost. Now we want to just show. There, as you can see, it's already got the doorway more or less put out. So we want to move on local. Switch all of these to local. R for uh, local for rescale. We want to make a copy. Knock snapping off. Move it until it shows that it's like showing outside. And then we want to make press R, make another copy, which is going to be thin. Because we need it on this side. Oh, we don't want to make a copy. Right, we need it on this side. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be enough room for you to go into it. Um, this one can actually be stretched out a little bit more. Because it looks like it's going to this door as well. There. That'll do. Now delete that, and you want to make sure as well that nothing's in the inside. Oh, fuck. Which something is by here. Uh, 
Uh, is there anything else on the inside? No. Okay. Right, that should be fine now. And there, we've done our world collisions. So now we want to scroll out. Scroll back down a year, and it should all be done theoretically, guys. So we just show everything. There. So now we got everything. And now we can export. So right. Export. Then we want it in export. So while that is exporting, uh, I'm gonna go to pilot. Right, now that that's exported, guys. Um, now you can go into OpenIV and you stick in your folder where you made some tutorial. Well, I made a tutorial, whatever you guys named there. You go into exports, you drag all these in here. And then you just check them now. We want to just check this. Which that all seems correct. Because we only want to hollow out the door. Yep, that all seems fine. And then we want the shell, which, yep, that seems fine. And our actual shell. Which, yep, that seems fine. Right. Now... Now we want to go, oh, is this fine as well? Um, let me just double check that. Oh fuck, it was frozen, weren't it? I accidentally clicked freeze on it. Don't make that mistake, guys, because otherwise it wants to fucking export. So, because when you freeze it, see, you can't export the frozen item. Right, make sure that's not frozen, and let me re export that. Right, There. Yeah, that was my bad. Right. 
now what we want to do i will have this linked in the video description um because uh it'll be a little file like this uh you can download it from my google drive along with this tool you're gonna need now white type generator all right so these files uh you only want the xml uh y type and milo you drag them into your then you're done with that right now we want to just name them to the same name so tutorial underscore milo tutorial y type now you want to go edit bring up something like notepad plus plus if you haven't got notepad plus plus i would seriously get it and then you just highlight all of this control c right when it's in here then all you need to do is name it the exact same name as you share so let's go into tutorial exports so where it says uh up the top where it says interior template you just change that to whatever you named it so in our case you go to um control f so in our case we uh named it tutorial come on jay you can spell and then replace all there it should have replaced seven items next thing we need is our bp min max that's why you need the y type creator because bp min max is basically the all around circumference of the building so uh create y type you want to open open find the file ignore my many other mlos i'm working on and then we want to collect uh tutorial shell or whatever you named it bps calculate and then we want to import and then we want to just don't worry about any of this you want to create view created and use our bp min max and center you want to just copy these so Control c and then you want to just paste them in here now you want to just um copy the bp min max only not the bp center you want to control c scroll all the way down until you find room and limbo you want to just paste them in there paste them in there and there now you copy and then you just check this in here save now you do the same type of thing now for the uh, mlo So control A, control C. Oh my god, I done a mistake. I I click control B, sorry guys. Control A, control C. No pad plus plus again, control A, control V. And same again. You highlight this. Control F. Replace with tutorial. You only replace the interior template part. Once you're done with that, Control C, Control A, Control B. Save, and there we have it. Now you highlight everything by the YTD, and we make a stream folder. Let me just drag these in here. There. 
Now we go into Code Walker again. Right. Now we got to click T. You got to make sure it is while well. enable mods and enable DLC is on. You go to file, open file. Uh tutorial, stream, and then you only want to pick the Y uh Y map and the Y type. And then you want to open them, you want to click into your Expand, expand, go to. There. And if this works, there'll be the exact dimensions, like this. So now what we can do... Oh. Uh, now what we can do is select, move. We want to just go to where our map is. Which I think is somewhere in Sandy. Yep, it's right here. Right, I want to just pick anything just to bring it over here. So let's pick the coordinates of this. Copy. Paste. There. We want to click E then. Rotate. Move. Back. We're going to have to reopen this now. So now you want to go into what, uh, the YMAP part. Calculate extents. Calculate all flags. Save. And then we want to exit. You want to just reopen it then. Once again, Y type, Y map. There. It's just so it shows up more clearly. Oh, there's a little 10 as well we need to get rid of. But as you can see, let me just click on the calls again. Just so we can move it around. There. As you can see, it's lined up more or less perfectly. This side needs to go over just slightly. You can do some fine movements anyway. It's not going to be perfect, guys. It's your first map, so it's not going to be perfect. You just want to make it as perfect as you can. There. That's about as perfect as we can. You can go in anyway and just like touch up these little bits. And just mess around with it. So now all we're going to do is go down to uh, uh, calculate all extents, calculate all flags, save. Now we want to go into calls, 
room. And right now, we're going to name this uh, Entrance. You can name it whatever you like. And because it's only one room, we don't have to do anything else in terms of um, the, the BP min max for it. But we do need to make a door. So. What you do is you go to call white type MLO and then add a portal. The portal then um will be going from one, which is the room, to zero, which is limbo. See? Zero is limbo, one is entrance. And for this we want uh let's just open this we want to press uh editable mesh so we want to go into vertex and then you want to face the inside and then you go from left to right so we want to click on uh, we want to click on this if it'll allow me. Yep. Right, we want to click on that. And we want to just jot down these. So copy. Paste. Copy. Paste. Oh, always make sure there's a gap after the comma. Copy. Paste. And you can see this actually done in real time. It mapping it out for you. So if you go into here. And then you click here. Oh, uh, click select. Selected. Or selection. And go MLO instance. You right click on this. And see. There's a little thing by there. Yeah, that is lined up. And now, uh, as we are doing this, uh, we want this one. As we are doing this now, we'll be able to see it in real time. Go towards it. All right, see? Right. And then so on and so forth then until you've reached the bottom. It'll line up. But what I usually like to do, which is a good little handy trick, is you do the window and the door as one portal. So we can do like this. Comma. There. We've done that now, guys. So now you can see we have one giant portal. It just covers both of them, so you have less portals, because the less portals you have is better. Makes it a lot more easier. Now we just need one more portal for this one. So let's go back into here.
And there we are, we're back, guys. So now, theoretically, this should be done. Now, all we want to do now is to the tutorial by type. We want to go save tutorial by type as, and then double click that, replace it. Calculate all flags, calculate all extents, save. And then we want to go to tools. Manifest generator, save manifest. And then just replace that. And there we have it. We are done. Now we can test it out in game. So let me just load up my VPS. Load the stream folder. I need to make a file now, my VPS. So. We want to, I want to copy this blank resource. Uh, make a new file to call the L. Put in that blank resource, copy this stream file, chuck that in. Make sure all the files are in there, which they are. Alright. Now we can just now I can just restart my server because it's already enabled. But if it ain't enabled, guys, you gotta enable it in the server config. Right, my server's up. So that's launch five M. Just go up to Yellow Jack. Down Route 68. Oh, I'm going the wrong way to Route 68. There we go. And there. As you can see, all the portals are working. We can run through. Windows are looking nice. See what I mean about making these little frames, guys? It just adds a little to it. And it's just so you don't have to make your own. But see, uh, none of the world disappears ever. It does disappear slightly, but that's because there's an occlusion you, Which I can actually... But, as you can see, we can run through. We can't jump through the windows, obviously. All the collisions on the building are working. You can see right through it. And there. It's that easy to make an MLO. Now, I'll show you now to get rid of the occlusions as well. So you go back into Open IV. You go to here and you click Occlusions. As you can see, there's an occlusion inside the building. So we want to grip that. Yep, that's the occlusion. And now, because we dragged in, now we'll now be in our project window. All we want to do is that occlusion. We just want to delete. And then this white Y map I are now, you click calculate, calculate.
and then you want to save it. You want to save it in the same folder. Now we can exit out of here. Stream. And then you'll see us by here. Uh, no, actually, uh, it's the second Y map. So here, you want to right click it, copy. And then put it wherever you put your stream folder, if you've got it on a dedicated or whatever. Now, if you just restart your server. And launch 5M. Right, now go to the last location. And there we go. Now when we look around, there will be no disappearing of the map at all. All of these were... Yep, all the collisions were... Glass works. And there you have it, guys. That is how you make an MLO. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching the video. And, yeah, smash a like on it if you enjoyed. And uh, this helped you at all. And, yeah, join my Discord down below for more. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead.